It is 6.07 right now and this morning there's still no word on the cause of yesterday morning's deadly fire in East Baltimore. A woman and two of her children died in that fire which happened during a sleepover. Five other children and a man in that burning home did manage to get out. WMH News Aaron McPherson is live at the scene of that fire this morning in East Baltimore. Aaron, what can you tell us? Well, so far this morning, we've only heard an update on a condition of one of those six people taken to the hospital. We're told that the two year old who was thrown from the second floor of this building is doing well this morning. We got that update from the woman who helped save that child. We talked with Jessica Waters, who lives here in East Baltimore. She tells us she ran out of her home when she realized what was going on, not even dressed, just immediately ran to the back of the home and kicked in the back door. She says 11 people were inside at the time time and she was able to help save eight of them. One of them a baby. She explained how when she was standing behind the home, she saw a baby flying out the second story window, caught the child and bundled him up. Now Sterling Avery and his two brothers were three others inside the at the time of the fire and the brothers credit Sterling for getting them out to safety. He woke all of us up and then we ran downstairs and then he was saving everybody. I had to save my family. Yeah, the three who died in this fire were 36 year old Janice Williams, a mother, 12 year old Antoine, a student at Colington Square in East Baltimore, and a seven year old little girl, Aubrey. Now there is a makeshift memorial set up in front of this home and some debris still left out here. Some of that debris has charcoal toys, just a sign that a family did live in this home. And as soon as we learn any other updated information, we'll be sure to let you know. Live here in East Baltimore, Aaron McPherson, WMAR 2 News.